Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to enable the new features and changes expected to arrive as part of the September 2025 update for Windows 11 version 24H2. Microsoft plans to release the patch Tuesday update on September 9th, 2025. Usually the release happens after 1 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to know what's included on this release, check the video description to find a link to the video that walks you through all the new features and changes come in this release. Okay, first you have to make sure that you have the update installed on your computer. That will be the easiest way to enable all the features part of the September update. And to do this, you just need to open start and look for settings. And then we're going to go to Windows Update. And in here, just make sure that this option is turned on and check for updates. When the computer downloads the latest update, in this case, the September 2025 update, you can go to the update history. And at the time of this recording, the update is still in preview and the build number is 26100.5067. But depending on when you're watching this video, that number will be a little bit higher. Now, if you're watching this video before the update is available in the stable channel as an optional update, you will have to enroll your computer in the release preview channel through the Windows Insider program, which you can do right here. I'm already enrolled in the release preview channel, as you can see right here. But if your computer is not, you will see the get started button. And then from there, you can link your account. And after you restart the computer, you will be able to check for updates through the release preview channel. However, I do recommend that you wait until at least September 1st, because at that time, the company is expected to have the update already available in the stable channel as an optional update that you can install even before the official release. So this is not always the case, but sometimes features relied on components that are available on inbox apps. So it is important that after you install the latest update that you go to the Microsoft Store and download the latest updates for your applications. And for that, just open the Microsoft Store, go to Downloads and just click the Check for Updates button. If you get this option right here, update all, just click on it and make sure that all the updates download on your computer. Now, if after installing the update, you are unable to see the new features and changes, you can force enable the improvements using the Vive tool. And to do that, you need to go to this GitHub page and then we need to download the latest version corresponding to the platform that you have on your computer. So if you have a Copala Plus PC or an ARM-based device, you have to use this option. Right now I'm using an AMD system, so I'm going to download the version for Intel and AMD. Open the location where you save the files, select the zip file and click the extract button. Click the extract button again. And in here, we're just going to copy the path where we extract the files, right click on it and select the copy option. And then we're going to open command prompt as an administrator. I'm going to use a terminal. Then I'm going to use the CD command and I'm going to paste by just doing a right click on the console to paste the path of the location where we extract the files. If you have any space on the path, make sure to use quotations like this and press enter. Now to enable the features corresponding to the September 2025 update for Windows 11 version 24H2, you need to use this by command and then just press enter. Now we can close this and restart the computer in order to see the new features and changes. Now here are two things that you need to know. First, even if Microsoft releases an update, it doesn't mean that you will get all the new changes and features on day one. Microsoft always enables features on systems gradually. So it might take some time until you see all the features enabled on your computer. Also, even though you can force enable the new features using the Vite tool, even then some features might require different hardware and running the command doesn't also guarantee that you're going to have all the features enabled on your computer. And that's it. That is how you enable the new features and changes for Windows 11 version 24H2, more specifically for the September 2025 update. Remember to leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.